Good morning, fifth graders. This is Mr. Cates, and today this video is going to be a continuation of this week's lesson. So if you missed today's lesson because of our distance learning, you can check out this video and see what we we're learning about. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to listen to a song called We Will Raise a Ruckus Tonight. Let's take a listen. <laughs> All right, everybody, we've now listened to the song, We Will Raise a Ruckus Tonight. And as you can see, we have some notes on the staff, and we've got this line showing us its melodic direction. Now, if I were to ask you about the notes on the staff, and I put this note here, would you be able to tell me what note that is? You may think you actually could, but in fact, you can't. We do not know what this note is because we do not have enough information. We need... A clef. Now, what is a clef? A clef is a marking at the beginning of the staff that tells you what range the music is written in. If you imagine a piano, it has 88 keys on it. That's 88 different notes that you can play, and from very low all the way to very high. Now, without a clef, where would that note be on the piano? You can't tell me because you don't know. It could be down really low, it could be super high could be in the middle, we just don't know. But a clef will tell you at what range your voice or what range on the piano or in the instruments that you're playing, that's where that note belongs. And the main clef that we're going to be worrying about this year is this clef. It's called treble clef. Now, a treble clef tells us that it's in the higher range. It's up in the upper range where our voices are. So instruments like the flute, the clarinet, the trumpet, these instruments play with a treble clef, violin as well. Other instruments that play lower play in a different clef, like the trombone or the bass of the cello. Now, as you see down here, we have some weird symbols. we got some very clear Gs, like that's an uppercase and a lowercase G. And then you have this one that's kind of like a G with a weird hat. Then you have this sort of squiggly line that looks kind of like a G. Then this one is like a real squiggly line. And then this one is unrecognizably fancy G. Well, the reason that they all look like G is because, well, this is called the G clef. So treble clef is also known as the G clef for a very good reason, because all of the Gs are circling around the second line. See how they're all going around that second line? That is because that line with treble clef in the staff is the note G. So if the line going through the treble clef is G, then we know that that note landing on that line has to be G. And if you know that that note is G, then guess what? You can find all of the other notes on the staff by going up the alphabet or down the alphabet. Now remember, in the music alphabet, we only go from A to G. So when we get to G, we start over again with A. So if you know that that note's G, the next note up is A, and then B, and then C, and then D, and so on. And if you go down, it's F, and then E, and then D, and then C. So pretty simple. Now let's go back and take a look at our song. So here is our song, We Will Raise a Ruckus Tonight. What is that first note? Now we know, it's a or we know we're in treble clef, so we know that that first line is G. So if we go one, two lines up, we count up the alphabet G to A and then landing on B. So we know that that note is B. And that's on the same line, so it has to be B. B, B. Then that note is one down, so it's one down on the alphabet, A, and then back to G. So we know that the notes we're using in this song are B, A, and G. Pretty simple. 
Here's a little joke for you guys. This is a bass clef, which is the lower sounding notes are in bass clef. And he's telling the treble clef, you're nothing but treble. And the treble clef is saying, you, all you do is bring us down. Because this is a very angry staff meeting on a music staff. A little music humor for you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to learn the song. So what I want to do is we're going to listen to the music again. You can listen as many times till you've done all these steps. First, we're going to follow the melodic direction, moving our hand up and down to show where the melody is moving. Then we are going to practice the words to make sure that you know how the words are in the song. And then we're going to hum the melody. So you're going to hum along to the melody so that you hear you can hear the pitches and make sure you match the melodic pitches. And then finally, you're going to sing along. Let's go ahead and do that right. <laughs> I hope you found that to be informative and you learned something about treble clefs and about where notes are, and hopefully that's going to help you with reading music in the future. Until next time, go Leopards!